Welcome to the Jeff Crilly Show. Welcome to the Jeff Crilly Show. First, a returning guest is Danny O'Connell from Next Level Insurance Agency. Welcome, Danny. Thanks for having me back. Hey, we're thrilled to have you back. Catch us up. What have you been up to? Oh, it's been a big year. Uh, back in August, we launched our own agency. And Congratulations. Just excited. Thank yes. you. Yes. Yeah, so we've got about seven or eight team members now that have come on board. Uh, it's been a great, great year. Um, we're doing a lot of business, obviously, in North Texas, West Texas, Houston, and we're licensed in actually eight different states. So we help people all over the country now. Including us with Real News PR. We're so Absolutely. thankful to have you helping us with our employees in health insurance. Can you talk to us a little bit about what got you into insurance and uh, your story, Danny? Yeah, so nobody ever dreams of growing up to be in the insurance business. It's usually a family member or somebody that recruits you into it. And I had been in the industry before, and I went back to graduate school and had just seen a great opportunity to come back and get into the industry, and, and I did. And I was very grateful, learned a lot, and uh, was ready to go out on my own now. That's right. And so brand new, your insurance agency. And tell me a little bit about what makes Next Level Insurance different. Sure. So one of the things that I saw over my 10-year career are most people that work um, as an agent, you know, and I work with companies, employers, individuals to secure their health insurance. Most agents uh, really are kind of a laggard when it comes to implementing and integrating technology and solutions. So many people are commission-based, so they don't want to adopt anything too early that's going to save companies money a lot of times because that affects their revenue stream. Oh, that's We're scary. <laughs> very proud of the fact that we've always worked uh, for 10 years, and I've always tried to be an early adopter of what's not going on today, but what's going on five years from now, what's going to be around the corner. And so I talk a lot and share a lot of what I do with other agents because what I'm sharing with them is something that we were probably doing last year. And, hey, if you can go do it better than me, then good for you. You're helping people. Um, so we're really always trying to find that next thing out there. And we're really excited about 2017 and what's upcoming. Now, we've had an election, and I really want to know what we should expect with uh, health care. Yeah, so always a topic of conversation, right? Um, just a couple of key statistics that I kind of want to – share with everybody Please. before we kind of dive into that. But you're going to hear a lot of people talking about health insurance and what's going to happen. My individual plan, is it going away? Um, when you look at the individual market, they throw a lot of numbers out, right? So recently I saw something that said 30 million people. We have to understand or there are 30 million registered users of healthcare.gov. That means that they just went into the website, they signed up so that they could get prices. Okay, But there's actually probably somewhere around 12 million who are enrolled. And half of those previously had policies and lost them. It's been really frustrating the last couple of years because at the end of the year, you've lived through it. You know, people lose their coverage, your doctor's not in the network, their benefits are worse, the prices go up. Yes, you get a letter in the mail and you're like, what is this about? Right. And then they don't even tell you what, it, what to do from now. Exactly. Like, where do you go from here? And so everyone's scrambling to try to figure <laughs> it out. And that's why they call Daniel O'Connell. That's right. <laughs> so, what we're hoping to see. Uh, first of all, are obviously changes. I think everybody agrees that we still need to fix the system. Um, anything that happens by April 1st, the, fourth quarter, the first quarter of 2017, we as individuals and, and companies, employers will start to see that probably by the end of the year because there's a process. Everything you know, kind of starts in Washington, the federal government, and then it goes to each individual state to really adapt – uh, interpret how they're going to apply it. Then all the insurance companies have to go and file all these new plans. And we expect to see probably more filings next year than we've probably seen in five years combined. So it is a process. It doesn't mean that, oh my gosh, something happened and now my cost is going to go down. It's going to take a while to implement. Uh, but some of the things that we're hoping to see is, you know, this elimination of this three to one age band. And what it did was it completely artificially inflated rates, especially for younger individuals. And it said that basically the most the most expensive person, the older people couldn't be more than three to one times the price for a younger individual. Well, typically people who sign up are older and they have health conditions. And so now if I'm 25, what I could have gotten before at $150, now it's costing me $333 for this probably worse coverage and my doctor doesn't take it anymore. So we want to get rid of that. We want to kind of go back to the bracket where they had every five years. That'll absolutely just lower price right off the bat. One of the big questions for President-elect Trump as he transitions is, you know, this healthcare.gov, as it's turned into this high-risk pool, is it something that is going to stay with the federal government or is it going to go back to the states? 
And when this was passed, a big rallying cry was, we want guaranteed issue. Everybody should be able to get something. And what happened was most people didn't realize their states had high-risk pool policies where if you were diagnosed with cancer today, you could go sign up and get coverage and it be covered. And here in Texas, it was managed by Blue Cross and Blue Shield. Great network, same as your group network. And they were actually less expensive with some better benefits. So that is, you know, number one, where is this going to be managed, federal or state level? I think that's fantastic to have that insight. Can you dispel some insurance myths? <laughs> um, <laughs> one of your favorite topics, right? So, yeah, one of my the favorite things I hear, I don't believe in health insurance. Well, it, health insurance is real. Nobody enjoys paying for it. And it's expensive. It typically goes up every year. Um, I think one of the big myths that we talk about in the country is we misassociate health insurance with our actual health care and how we get treated and who we see and how we take care of ourselves. Two totally separate things. Health insurance is there to help you pay for out-of-pocket costs when big things happen, right? If you have to go to the hospital, have surgery, have baby. It's not really designed to cover all the little things. Mm -hmm. But most of us, you know, we don't want to pay out of pocket for services and we're paying our premium. So we've gotten used to, well, we want our insurance to pay for everything. So the more that we have it covered, the more the cost of that, that product goes up. So we really have to start addressing, well, why is the product going up? Why is health insurance going up? And unfortunately, we just really haven't addressed that effectively in this country. And that's one of the things that Next Level you know, we're very excited about because we have some plans uh, going back to that, you know, early adapter innovator. We have plans for employers that they're just not seeing and they can lower costs anywhere from 10 to 40 percent for the same type of benefits and coverage they have today. But it's still it's new. And so a lot of people aren't aware of them and a lot of people are kind of nervous because they don't understand them either. So touching on the employer, uh, what are some of those important things that employers need to take into consideration for employee health care and benefits? Sure. So I think you're going to see more employers being more actively engaged in their health plans. And we're very excited. We've partnered with a company called Acresa, who's based here in North Texas. And they've created a platform of doctors to where um, any employee can keep their doctor. They don't have to change their provider, but they can actually go in and pick from an entire net. They hate the word network. An entire group <laughs> of uh, direct primary care doctors where the employees have access to 24-7, no cost. The employee can pick who they want to use. If they don't like them, they can change them the next month. Um, it's very friendly. It's great. It's ease of use, ease of access. It keeps people from going to the emergency room and urgent care. And insurance companies are starting to really see the value in this. And so insurance companies are saying, okay, well, if we can take some of this out, we could potentially lower costs by at least 10% just with signing up with them. And I wanted to touch on, too, Samantha, you worked with Danny when he came into our office. Can you touch on some of the things that were so helpful for when you had that conversation with Danny? Because it was overwhelming, right? It, it's really overwhelming. And if, unless you're trained to know this stuff, you, you get the packet and it's like, I don't I don't know what any of these things mean. And he was really, really great. He brought uh, Emma with him, I think it was her name. And they just went page by page, broke down each plan, and really just help me understand insurance and why it costs what it costs. Which is critical, right? Because you have all of these people yeah. depending on you with a, with, as, a, and as an employer. Right. Thank you for that. You know, we there's so many numbers and so much that gets thrown out at you, right, when you're going through it. But at the end of the day, you just want to know that it's going to be there, it's going to work, and what's the best option for you and your plan and your group. And we try to relate in just terms people can use, like examples of, okay, well, this is – what you're going through, what you need, this would be the best plan for you. If you're this type of person, this is the best plan for you. Our guest right now, Danny O'Connell with Next Level Insurance Agency. Danny, I know we just have a minute left. Can you tell us a little bit more about how to find you and get in contact with you? Sure. So our phone number, 469-329-0777. Again, that's 469-329-0777. And be sure to find us on Facebook as well, Next Level Insurance Agency. Thank you so much, Danny. We really appreciate you being on the Jeff Curley Show. And we can't wait to have you back, maybe with a little bit of an update mid-year. Uh, don't go away the, with the Jeff Curley Show because we will have Nick Oppenheiden coming on the show. He's in a Dallas-based attorney. And don't go away.